Hello and welcome back to Stephen Amal Play Playdeads Inside. On the last episode, I got things started off. I actually got pretty far um, because I I was familiar with the very beginning of the game since I had done a first twenty. But we are now in completely unfamiliar territory. At the end of last episode, Mao had the brilliant idea, uh, since she's had brilliant ideas, to open the gate before we turn on the electricity. We probably need the electricity to activate the elevator, but there's really no reason to try and fump, uh, fuddle with that gate if we can open it beforehand. So Mal's in charge. Mal, take it away. There you go. Okay, I automatically hide. Yep. Wait till that's completely gone. I made that mistake once. There you go. You did it. Also... Do you hear the bass? Yes. It's like a heartbeat. Yes. That's exactly what I was going to point out. Limbo had no music. Limbo relied on very creative uh, ambience. And... Honestly, it... This is kind of doing the same thing, in a way. I guess you could call it music, if you wanted to. But it, it seems to me that it's more ambience. Trying to break the board? I thought maybe. Ma Mal's, Mal's on the lookout for, uh, for secrets. Oh, I broke that board. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's like that penguin game in WarioWare. <laughs> This is amazing. And God, I'm, I'm just, I'm so curious. Like, wh what is it for? Where is it going? What does it do? I think that camera is very suspicious of you. I mean, I have a red shirt. Interesting. Okay, when you're in yellow, you have to jump. <laughs> Walked a little early there. It looks like there's a bunch of normal people. Yeah, just watching. Okay, so what I'm gathering... ...is that everyone in... The masks are ruling everyone who's not in a mask. Okay, I'm, I'm just- I'm trying to piece this together and I'm throwing things out there. The parasite that we pulled out of the- the pig's butt. I'm assuming that that is some sort of mind-controlling thing. And they are... There, there's the, some sort of people... Um, that are testing this on humans or something? And they're just double-checking this assembly line of people to make sure that it works. Is the camera still watching you? It is. Yeah, it is. You know what, this is such a really cool sequence in a game. And the reason it works so well is because it allows you to continue playing. It's better than a cutscene, because it gives you something to do. But it also goes slow enough that it forces you to take every single thing in. I think I'm supposed to go. Oh. Limbo feels there. Do, 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 do. Oh god. Oh my god, they are coming. Run, Mal, run. No Don't doggy. No doggy. <laughs> oh god! Oh my god. Okay, apparently I needed to run immediately instead of hang around. It's, um, what's interesting is that Limbo had some extreme. No, I don't think I need to run. <laughs> What's interesting is that Limbo had some extremely gruesome deaths. Okay, I think I know Ma what I need to do. Yeah, I would hang around there, maybe. 
So he has to come down that one, and then whenever he, yep, then go. Because he can't jump up. Haha, -ha, dumb dog. Perfect. I think that guy could probably, I guess, push that thing. You Sorry, can... I hadn't controlled one before. And to release from that, Mao, you just hold down and press the jump button. Okay. And that's how you get out. And it looks like you're good. Okay, so they've got... There's, there's these parasites, but then you've also got these helmets, which might be fueled from the parasites? I'm not entirely sure. Alright. I need to be in that to let him through, but this needs to be open, but I need to be able to get up there. Correct. Okay, so... Oh, X. Oh, yeah, that'll do it. Of course, how are you going to get your head back in that? I haven't figured that out yet. <laughs> okay. Is there a thing? Um. Oh, I know what I need to do. What's that? I need to bring this back. Okay. Come here. If you know what you need to do, then you know better than me. So I'm. I'm Go up. I'm watching and waiting. Back here. Do, 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 do. There. Now I'm gonna take this and push it on the switch like so and go back. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I get it. You see what I'm doing now? Uh, well, you're doing you're doing a levitating moonwalk, technically, but yeah, I see. Should I keep going? Probably, because otherwise there's nowhere else to go. Oh wow! A reminder that this is a puzzle game. What is the next puzzle? Okay, uh, you can not jump there. You, yeah, wait, wait. You can jump with that guy though. Maybe you can get his head in a helmet. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, you can control his jumps. Oh my god. It's that movie. Oh my god. It's Inception. Dude, 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 dude. We've got to go deeper, Mallory. Okay. We have to go so, deeper. So, what? <laughs> so jump on that thing and get on. No, no, don't pull out. Oh. Mallory, you pulled out. Oh no. Now you gotta go do it over. You just needed to jump on the box. <laughs> Mallory, rule number one, you never pull out. If you needed that advice, you should have just asked me. Oh wait, that works. But no, it doesn't work because you have to get okay. three deep in order to push the box through. So you have to do it the other way. Okay, so what do I do to fix this now? You have to use the guy that you're controlling to push the box back over there and put your head back in the helmet. So you go over there. Oh, okay. I didn't know what would happen to the one that was sitting there. Yeah, he's fine. So you push your head and helmet. Use the third guy. Come get the box. Drag it back over. Do not pull out. <laughs> Never. Don't you ever. <laughs> you leave it in. Okay, now jump up. Don't pull down. Just, just jump normal. There you go. And then jump over there. Leave him here. And then pull out. There. So then that guy will go over and he will be your butler to get you into the next room. Super, okay. super butler. He is the best. Alright, so that helps a lot. So the question is, now what? Center myself over this. Because that can't be bad, right? Wet cement, maybe? There you go. Everyone's like, wait, what the crap is going on? All right, I would release yourself before they put it back. That was close. Hooray! You can swim underwater. There's no particular underwater controls. Just kind of move around, but you do have some, um, 
You know, you can only breathe so long, so just keep that in mind. It looks like there's something you can grab down there. Doesn't Where? it? Just the red thing just seems out of place. But don't drown. Oh. Which, which you just did. Which I just did. Yeah, there's no on-screen prompt. Oh, you're gonna have to redo this part. Well, that wasn't bad. I actually, to be honest, I enjoy games where they have completely removed the HUD. Um, it does make it feel far more cinematic, and I think that Limbo and Inside benefit from that. Ooh, that was close. Yeah, it killed you. Why did you oh, close it? I... Because you have to. Why do you have to? When you let go of the control, the guy stops holding the thing. Yeah, but... So I'm doing this. Okay. And as soon as I let go, it does it again, see? Yeah, but just hit down an A. I mean, that's what I did. Oh, well, you waited a little late. <laughs> yeah, I did. Yeah, I would get your breath first. Because breathing is cool. Stay in school, stay off drugs, don't forget to breathe. It's a national PSA. And then pull that thing. There you go. Apparently you're gonna need that. I don't know exactly what it's gonna help you do yet, but it looks like you're going to need it for something. Oh, come on. Probably swim with it by holding it. Come on, friend. There you go. Pallet friend. Also, this kid is very... Like, he's full of, like, ingenuity. Mm-hmm. Like, he is, he is presented with a serious problem, but he is handling it like a champ. And yeah, you absolutely had to have that in order to progress. I, uh, you may want to check what's under the water below, though. Just to see if there is anything. To the right, you mean? Yeah. Obviously, you don't want to drown. Nothing. There's nothing. Alright. Don't drown. Alright, you didn't drown, so that's good. Alright. Whee! Forward march. A little wet, but that never hurt anybody. And we are escaping into a new area. This breathing changed. Inter well, it's it's how he feels, but then also like his environment is different too. I think you just drained a dam. I think I had to. I think that will raise it. Make sure that that's what you want to do before you hit it. Hmm. Alright. Was there anything to the right, though? Um, I think there will be. I think that hatch leads you back into the office. You think so? I believe so, yes. Based on the- based on where you are. Okay. But you can go and uh, investigate the right before you do that. Fortunately, there hasn't been anyone shooting at you in a while. <laughs> I'm sure that's bound to change shortly. Okay, there's that. Okay. I got this. Do you- you, you do? I do- I do got this. I'm gonna go into the office. Okay, here's the thing. You're gonna go in the office, lower the water. Okay. Button. Forgot to hit that. And then the thing you need to go in on the right is kind of like halfway where the water is. Okay. Okay. So if I walk this way, you see it's up there. Yes. But I need to hit the button and then like swim and then go as fast as possible. Oh. Nope. Okay. Uh, good try, though. Good try. Um, I think you need something to climb on to get access to that. Yes. I'm trying to think. Is there a way? Is there a way you can be up here when the water is going down? Because then you could try and get across while it's going down, and it would open for you, I think. There's no buttons up here. And there's no way to climb out of that. No. Okay, well, it looks like we found our first puzzle that neither of us can instantly solve, but that's exciting. I think I was right. What? 
you think you just weren't doing it right? Well, yeah. run and do it. Run and then hit it on the way by. No, that's definitely not it. You went as fast as you could and it was not opening. You're gonna have to come up with a different plan. Okay. Mal, whenever the water goes all the way down... Uh-huh. Hit it and run out. Yeah, can you... Yeah, can you refill the water and then run out? Oh, God. Oh. Interesting. So it won't let... It won't even let you do that. Are you... Really? Try it again. Try... I'm just... That seems like a really good plan. Okay, I'm gonna try going past it. Nope. Wow. Okay, I would have thought that that would have done it. What if I hit this and run left? What do you think? Too fast? If you hit that and run left, yeah. that door closes immediately. Oh, wait, Mal. Couldn't you just swim underwater and hit the button? <gasps> You're right. Da, 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 da. I did it. I'm the best. So hit that, and then quickly, as fast as your little legs will carry you. It's like the sinking you. ship in Mario. Now it'll open up for you. Boom! Took us a minute, but we got there. Now we're in a dark room, abandoned factory-esque. There is some unnatural light coming through that window. It's a little horrifying. Oh, wait, that's a pallet. That's what's going to help you get to the, um... The, uh, rope or whatever. I guess that not really chain. a rope, it's a chain. So you get that out there. Get that sucker lined up. Perfect. Now you just have to go in there and raise the water again. And that should take care of everything. Nice. A plus. Thank you. Still a little freaked out by some of the unnatural light going on, but I'm sure it's okay. See the person? Yeah, there's some people walking around. I guess we'll learn more soon. Oh, it's a train. <laughs> Once again, City 17. Lots of trains. There's that unnatural light. But I can't get in that. I, yeah, I, I'm, I'm gonna go on a limb and say that you gotta stay under that thing. And notice how the light, the, the shadow of it changes, man. Yeah, I see. Get that wheel. Spin it. Run back. It was close. It was very close. You have the right idea, though. It's gonna take a few tries, I bet. Spin that thing, spin that thing. <laughs> <laughs> I think you have the right idea to be frightened. A lot of things in the game so far have just instantly killed you. Do not pass go, do not collect $200. You don't want to get tasered again. Uh, one more try. They really should not have installed that giant pipe there. They should have known that a small child would inevitably hide under it. Wrong way. Wrong way. Oh my god. What are you, <laughs> what are you doing? I was trying to turn it and it went the wrong way. Why did it go the wrong way? I don't know. Like, do you just hold one button? No, or? you have to spin the thing. Well, I think you were spinning it the wrong way. When it gets all the way, does it just automatically spin the other way? Maybe? That's... I doubt it. That seems dumb. That it would was be, probably just me. That was bad. That would be bad game design. I think you just spun it the wrong way some for some reason. Going for it. You're in. It's coming for you. I know. Oh, God. It stopped. I thought... I thought it was going to come all the way. I thought so, too. But I thought I could... Are you kidding me? Really? There's another pipe. Jeez. There's a hatch. Yeah, I see the hatch. Taking the last train out of Georgia. There you go. 
Mal, no! Oh god! Back the other way. Don't stop for the hatch, it's gonna keep going. I think it stops around there. Yeah. Okay, go back up. Hatch. Remember, you gotta pull up. Woo! Yikes, in the nick of time. Woo! Just give me a second. <sighs> okay. Nothing to the left. I love the environments in this game. I love them. Guess that was good. Can't get back up. Nope. That looks like you're going deeper. Wherever deeper goes. Down. Down. Yes, that is the direction <laughs> you're heading. Is that a subway train car? Uh, it kind of looks like it. Taking a shower? Yes. That's the- that's the- the one thing on this boy's mind as he <laughs> runs through this des <laughs> desolate, militarized, plagued world. Taking Jeez, a shower? I am really I'll unclean. Run off water? I smell terrible. If only I had some Irish spring. You know what this reminds me of? Uh, Chernobyl. No, the underground part for Journey. A little bit, yeah. A tiny bit. Like where the thing, like, is after you? Yeah, 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 I, I get a little bit of that. God, those dogs are scary. Yeah, they are. Very scary pups. W would not pet. No pet. Gonna check under the water? No, no, there's something. No, there's not. It's a reflection. See? Okay. Thought there was something. Was mildly terrified. Uh, puppers in the water. I see puppers. So that's exciting. This is actually good. By dawdling, I think we figured out how to solve whatever this puzzle is going to be. Because you swim faster than the dog. So that's the trick here. Just get the dog in the water, lead him as far left as you can, and then run as fast as your legs will carry you. Bye, dog. Oh god, there's another dog. Jump! Fence! Climb! Woo! They're gonna knock that fence over, I bet. Pull that out. They're coming, Mal! Pull! Pull! Okay, new plan! <laughs> this side of the fence, boys! Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna have to you're gonna have to go back yeah, and forth. Yeah. I'm over here. Stupid dogs. They don't know. Go, go. Pull, pull. Okay, back on the fence. Back on the fence. Back on the fence. <laughs> oh God. I'm over here. I'm over here. Eat my tush over here. Eat my rear. I'm over there. I'm over there. I'm looking towards McDonald's. It's over here. I'm gonna go. Oh my god. Oh my god. Head to Burger King. Go to Burger King now. Go to Burger King now. You're gonna die. Get to Burger King. <laughs> oh my god. You wound up as tenderized as, as the beef patties <laughs> at both restaurants. Oh my god. Yeah, you gotta like... Yeah, that's one at it. A time. That's, yeah, one at a time. To get them over there. Make sure that the dogs are. Yeah, like go over there and get on the other side, and then wait for the dogs to be on. Yeah, exactly. All the way. Okay. They might be able to jump. I don't know. Okay, go. Okay, pull. Pull that son of a gun off. Okay, now go. Jeez, those dogs are fast. Dogs are scary, man. Yeah. Or they can be. They can also be really sweet. Here I am. Look, it's my butt. Get my butt. There you go. Also, if anyone ever got, like, attacked by a dog, like, this game would, would set them off. No, no doubt. So, if you're one of those people, I apologize for this segment. They still... Okay. 
Is there anything? Okay. Is there anything left to pull? No. Forget that noise. God, they're still trying to get in. Ay ay ay, man. If I ever hear a dog bark like that again, it's scary. Jeez. I was bit by a dog as a child. Oh yeah, that's right. But it didn't really set into motion any like. Mm, when dogs bark like that, it frightens me. Okay. I know. I mean, I know that some people, you know, they had, um, you know, like a vicious dog attack as uh, as a kid, and that can create problems. Oh. Okay. Dude, they kill you. Yeah. They, they choke you. What is this so, world? Should I run and jump? You think? Maybe wait. I would just. I would. Yeah. I would. I would wait. See what happens when you wait. Hey, well, Larry, uh, what you think about doing later? I don't know. I'm thinking about going to Burger King. <laughs> that must be a joke, Larry. You know we always go to McDonald's. And Frank, what do you think? I'm feeling Arby's. Get the gun. There you go. It's quite a jump. No, I want in. So does that allow you to explore the depth safely? That is awesome. That is awesome. Grand Theft Auto. Grand Theft... Uh... What do you call that? I guess it's a submarine of some sort. Grand Theft Submarine. What are they looking for? Exactly. Exactly. Why... Why do they need to go down here? Looks like you can smash into the bottom. Yeah. Is there... If you... If you use... Smash? Okay, so there's a... There's a smash button. Oh my god. Wow. Okay, but what does it mean and where are we and what's going on? Head left. Left, you think? I'm just curious where it connects. Or just what the scale is of everything. It's huge, it just doesn't end. Okay, there's the wall. Okay, wall. Uh, follow the follow the pipes down. It's all connected to some big thing. I'm not really sure what that big thing is. Okay, here's the bottom. It's just this massive something. Do you think when he went on his adventure, he knew he was getting into this? No, Mal, I, I don't think he did. Judging by the fact that he crawled out of the woods and then the first thing he did was jump over a police gate, I would say that he was probably running from something. Is it the Death Star? Yes. Yes, we are inside the Death Star. There's a light or something in the background. You see that? Yeah, I do, unfortunately. That's, that's suspect. You got a hallway number two. This is all, you know, this is all something that's destroyed. Because this is all underwater. Mm -hmm. Like, this isn't in use. But what does it, what, you know, what was it? it? I mean, it might be somewhat in use if they're going down here to check it out. Maybe there was a destroyed civilization or something? Also, um, I think you can go up, too. I think you've reached a surface. I think you should still try and pound out that, uh, that mm -hmm. wall, but it looks like you can get out on foot and maybe proceed from here if you wanted, so maybe, maybe try that wall first. That's what I'm thinking. See if it leads to anything. Eh, it's not really doing anything. You can try lower if you want. I bet I have to get the whole thing. You're definitely causing some damage, but I actually don't believe that this is the way to, to go. I think it's just here to 
to show that there's some level of structural damage, but probably not everything. You seem committed to the idea, though. It's not breaking any further down. You could break it there if you really want to. Yeah, I think I think it's not meant to break. That is actually it, though. That's it for me? That's it. Your episode is done. That means that uh, next episode I'm going to be in control. And uh, I think I'm going to get out of this thing and uh, take take our, our little inside boy on foot up that uh, up that walkway and see what happens. Thank you so much for watching. Tune in next time for more Stephen Amell play Play Dead's Inside. <laughs>